Gestational Diabetes, ADA Guidelines for GDM Pregnancy is a time of immense physical and emotional changes, and it can be an exciting time for many women. However, it can also be a time of concern and worry, especially if the expectant mother develops gestational diabetes mellitus GDM. GDM is a form of diabetes that develops during pregnancy, affecting about 7% of pregnancies in the United States each year. In this video, we will discuss what GDM is, its causes, signs, and symptoms, as well as the investigation and treatment options available. What is gestational diabetes? Gestational diabetes is a type of diabetes that develops during pregnancy. It is characterized by high blood glucose, sugar, levels that occur when the body cannot produce enough insulin or when the body is unable to use insulin effectively. Insulin is a hormone that is responsible for regulating blood sugar levels in the body. When insulin is not functioning correctly, blood sugar levels rise, leading to hyperglycemia. Causes of gestational diabetes The exact cause of gestational diabetes is unknown, but it is believed to be related to the hormonal changes that occur during pregnancy. During pregnancy, the placenta produces hormones that can interfere with the action of insulin. This leads to insulin resistance, which can cause blood sugar levels to rise. Risk factors for developing gestational diabetes include being overweight or obese having a family history of diabetes having a history of gestational diabetes in a previous pregnancy being over 25 years old being of certain ethnicities, for example, African American, Hispanic, Native American, Asian American, Pacific Islander. Signs and Symptoms of Gestational Diabetes Many women with gestational diabetes have no noticeable symptoms. However, some may experience the following, increased thirst frequent urination blurred vision fatigue nausea and vomiting. Investigation of gestational diabetes All pregnant women should be screened for gestational diabetes between 24 and 28 weeks of pregnancy. The screening test involves drinking a sweet liquid and having blood drawn one hour later to measure blood glucose levels. If the blood glucose level is higher than normal, a second test called a glucose tolerance test may be performed to confirm the diagnosis. American Diabetes Association Guidelines for GDM The American Diabetes Association ADA, provides guidelines for the diagnosis and treatment of gestational diabetes. These guidelines recommend that pregnant women with GDM should. 1. Monitor blood sugar levels four times a day, before meals and one hour after meals. 2. Have a healthy diet, including fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean protein, and healthy fats. Avoid high sugar foods and drinks. 3. Engage in regular physical activity, such as walking, for at least 30 minutes a day. 4. Work with a healthcare provider to determine if insulin or other medication is necessary to control blood sugar levels. 5. Monitor fetal growth and development closely. Treatment of gestational diabetes. The treatment of gestational diabetes is focused on controlling blood sugar levels to prevent complications for both the mother and the baby. Treatment options include 1. Lifestyle changes eating a healthy diet, engaging in regular physical activity, and monitoring blood sugar levels can help control gestational diabetes. 2. Medication Some women may need to take insulin or other medication to control blood sugar levels. 3. Fetal monitoring Women with gestational diabetes will need to have frequent ultrasounds to monitor fetal growth and development. 4. Early delivery In some cases, an early delivery may be necessary to prevent complications. In conclusion, gestational diabetes is a significant concern for pregnant women and their health care providers. Early detection and management of GDM are crucial to prevent complications for both the mother and the baby. With proper care and management, most women with GDM can have a healthy pregnancy and deliver a healthy baby.
It is essential for pregnant women to work closely with their health care providers to manage their blood sugar levels and ensure the best possible outcomes for themselves and their babies. Thanks for watching. This presentation is made by Dr. Muhammad Arsalan Khan Diabetes Specialist MBBS, MSC, Diabetes and Endocrinology CCDB MJAKURCP, London, 2013-2014.